how do you see scouting as a as a youth movement worldwide uh, coming from your perspective working for the UN? No, I, uh, it's a very impressive uh, network of uh, individuals committed uh, to, 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 to work, I mean, uh, for human uh, I mean, development. Uh, looking today, uh, SCAUS has a network of 40 million, whereas the education network uh, that works and operates in many countries around the world uh, it's, uh, it's something that means the United Nations always uh, counted the SCAUS as a strategic partner. And uh, in fact, the United Nations with the SCAUS, you know, we share a long history of cooperation. Uh, it goes back to 1947 when the SCAUS were awarded the uh, ECOSOC status of the United Nations. And since then, uh, the, the SCAUS have been actively participating in different UN processes, working very closely with different UN country teams and uh, offices. And um, the reason why I'm here is to see uh, that uh, really, I mean, attach a great importance to the work of the scouts and to uh, to say that we, we were following very closely this ambitious plan of doubling the numbers even of the scouts, of uh, adopting a new strategic uh, plan for, for the work of the scouts and uh, to invite them also to, to make sure that in their strategic uh, planning uh, to remain uh, always, as they have been always actually, uh, aligned with the, with the work of the United Nations, especially the Millennium Development Goals, the post-2015 uh, development agenda. Uh, at the end, I mean, there are not many uh, 40 million uh, individuals or youth individuals coming together from all over the world in one network. Uh, so we have to keep this in mind. This is a very unique uh, structure, and a uh, structure that has a legacy of many years of successes and achievements. And building over this legacy and continue working uh, in a very complicated world. I mean, it's a very complex challenge lying ahead of us, uh, multidimensional and uh, deeply interconnected. And uh, they require, as I said before, uh, a sense of global citizenship, a sense of uh, belonging to the globe. And I think uh, the way I look to the Scout as a, as a movement that is really fostering these values, the universal values, the values of human rights, and allowing the individual to very engage to, to develop themselves uh, socially, intellectually, emotionally, and be uh, be aware of the challenges uh, of the world at large. So, uh, it's a very interesting time uh, to to uh, to be young. I would say it's, it might be challenging as well in many parts of the world, uh, but it's a very interesting time to be involved in uh, thinking big and thinking about uh, the development challenges and needs, aspirations of uh, people around the world. So, as scouts, I think uh, as you are uh, transitioning to a new strategic. Uh, plan, I, I, I continue to hope uh, that the Scouts will continue to, to play this leading role in uh, reaching out to young people and to get young people in an organized manner and structured way to, to work uh, towards these, uh, these important goals.